Hello guys, how are you? It's time to discuss the first attack in this course, XSS via XML. Let's start. When you create an XML file, then you can declare the so-called namespace in this file. And the exemplary namespace is XHTML. This is the legitimate part of XML. The question is, what's interesting here from the attacker's point of view? And the answer is here. In the XHTML namespace, the attacker can create a script. And this is exactly what the attacker wants to do. Because remember, the final goal is to launch an XSS attack via XML. Now, let me tell you how this attack works so that you've got a general overview of this attack. And later on in the next video, I'm going to show you a demo. And in the demo, you'll see step by step how it works in practice. But first, a general understanding of this attack, okay? So the first step is we are going to upload our malicious XML file with a script to the web application. And once it is uploaded, this XML file is visited by the user. Once it is visited by the user, the script is executed and, and yeah, we are successful. It was our goal. Now, please notice that here we are talking about stored XSS attack because we've got an XML file the XML file has been uploaded to the web application and now it is stored on the server side. And the only thing that we have to do, we attackers, is to point the users to this file. And that's it. Um, that's why this attack is really powerful. The malicious XML file needs to be uploaded once and then we can uh, hack many people, right? Um, and due to the severity of this attack, we can expect a really nice reward at the end of the day. Okay, so uh, let's jump to the demo and let me show you in the demo how this attack works step by step. Hi, welcome in the first demo. What I'm going to uh, demonstrate here is how an XSS attack via XML works in practice. This is my testing web application and I am currently logged in. You can see my name, David, in the upper right corner. What I can do in this uh, web application is I can create an invoice. And the nice uh, part related to the invoices is that I can attach a file. You can see it here. I can attach a file to the invoice and one of the supported file formats is XML. This is really nice because I can create an invoice. I can attach a malicious XML file. I'm gonna upload it to the web application and then I'm gonna point a user to this malicious XML file and I will end up with an XSS attack via XML. That's my goal. That's exactly what I'm going to present. And before I do all these steps, I'm gonna show you first how this malicious XML file looks like. So here it is. This is my malicious XML file. Let me discuss it right now. What is uh, inside? In this line, I declare an XHTML namespace. I discussed uh, this namespace in the previous video. So here we've got a declaration of a namespace. And as you already know from the previous video, we can create a script in an XHTML namespace. And this is exactly what I am doing here. And my script is very simple, like alert XSS, just to provide a proof of concept that this attack works. Okay? So basically, this is it. This is how a malicious XML file looks like. Now, I'm gonna show you how this attack works. So let me go back uh, to the web application. Now I'm gonna attach uh, this malicious uh, XML file uh, to the invoice. So let me do it uh, right now. And I will click attach a file. Okay, you see that the attachment is available here, right? 
So I'm going to click it right now and I'm going to copy link location. So basically, I'm going to copy uh, the URL to this attachment. OK. I copied it and now I'm going to go to another browser. And the reason is that I want to show you how this attack works in practice. So the point is that I'm going to launch an XSS attack against another user of this web application. OK. So what you can see in another browser in the upper right corner, there is a user called Michael and I'm going to launch an XSS attack against Michael. So now um, I will take uh, my uh, URL and I will paste it here. OK, so what you can see here is that uh, indeed this is the URL that points to an XML file. You can see .xml uh, at the very end, right? So I'm just right now sending this URL to Michael. Michael is authenticated in the web application. Now Michael uh, clicks this link that I sent to him. And now let's see what's going to happen. We see an alert with a message XSS. So it clearly proves that this attack works. It's just beautiful. We've got a stored XSS via XML. And it's really nice because this malicious XML file has been uploaded to the web application. And now I just need to take a link pointing to this file. I can send it to many different users of this web application and I can just launch an XSS attack via XML, uh, which is really cool, uh, really powerful. And this is how you can very easily launch this attack against other users of this web application. I hope that this is clear. Uh, now you see step-by-step step how this attack works. Um, I hope that you are uh, excited about this attack. And I hope that you can't wait to see the next attack in this course. So let me right now jump to the next video.